The black hairdressing industry has an estimated worth of 88 million. This could suggest that business is booming. But in the age of YouTubers, beauty gurus and DIY culture, are some hairdressers struggling to adapt or are they evolving to the needs and wants of the modern times? To explore this subject further, I am going to speak to people at the heart of this debate, hairdressers. One way and the other way. Like most of our customers, they are not like youth, youth, youth that you know, like goes uh, on the internet, you know. But for the younger ones that we used to do their hair, they now do hair for themselves. You know, when it comes to like wearing like wigs, they go on the YouTube, the like, Even with hairdressers, we have to upgrade as well. Otherwise, we won't have no customers. Every day, new styles are coming out now, so. We actually have to change and then we have to move with the way the old thing is moving. YouTube it helps everyone. It helps us to to do more. You know, it doesn't stop. Even some of you young girls that do hair by yourselves, learning from YouTube, it still brings some of the hair when there is error to us to fix. You know, and then we are still getting something out of it, and then we learn from it as well, so it doesn't really affect us. I've been doing hairdressing for quite a while, and um, I think people that does the hair most on a frequent basis is um, younger people and YouTube is attracted to, I mean younger people is attracted to YouTube more than the older ones and the older people they don't do the hair that often and now the younger ones are learning to do the hair by themselves and they change their hair very regular now is make the hairdressing industry gone down very low because they're not coming in anymore. Sometimes they do come but they're asking to adjust whatever they do and they're not paying a lot for that anyway. So it's really gone down. Some of the stuff that the young people are going to YouTube to learn, not all of them learn it. But the older fashion hairdressers, they don't really put interest to learn them. So maybe they need to stay on top of the game as well. Like try to keep up with fashion. Try to be on top, like to do the newer fashion that the younger generations like. Because some of them as well, even though they go to YouTube, they still, they're not able to do it for themselves. But there are some that's going there to learn and they're charging excess amount of money to do those styles. So we, the older ones, need to learn the new stuff and charge reduced price to attract the younger generation. But at the same time, if you're saying for the hairdressing industry, I think it's, it's not just we, the older ones, is the, if you're looking at the hairdressing industry because the young people they're gaining because they're charging excess amount of money to do these styles and they're doing it sometimes from home and they're not paying rent so in one sense it's disadvantage to certain people and it's advantage to a next set of people. Overall I'm talking to people off and on camera, the one message that remains consistent from every interview. In order to thrive and survive in the hairdressing industry, you need to know what your customers want and need and what trends are going to be next. The industry is not going anywhere soon, but it will always be evolving and changing to the trends and styles of their customers.